A man had to be taken to the hospital after he was bitten while swimming in San Francisco Bay today. The culprit is believed to be a sea lion. The attack happened near Aquatic Park, not far from iconic Fisherman's Wharf. ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom joins us now with the latest. Jonathan? Well, police say the victim's now in good condition and even in good spirits considering what happened. But it could have been a much different story if not for the captain of a passing sailboat who stopped to help. People have been nibbled over the years here and there. No one's ever really been seriously hurt. That is until now. A vessel named the Grey Goose was uh, calling that they had seen a swimmer in distress and they reported that he had been bit by a sea lion and he was bleeding very badly. San Francisco police say it happened here at the mouth of the Aquatic Park Cove. The 56 year old man had flagged down the boat whose captain brought him aboard and headed to shore. It looked like a, like a bite wound onto his right uh, upper arm and uh, it was uncontrolled bleeding when he came onto our dock. Police put on a tourniquet, then a second in the ambulance. He made it to the hospital where he's since been upgraded to good condition. If they really sunk their teeth in, they could pretty much leave with your feet. But longtime bay swimmers say sea lions tend to reserve that aggression for fish. I've never heard of anybody really going to the hospital or getting stitches. Dolphin Club member George Howell said this is mating season when male sea lions can get aggressive. The injured swimmer told police it sure felt aggressive. The sea lion was coming at him and he, he said he felt threatened and that's why he started splashing water and tried to, you know, try to yell at it to get away when it bit him. Swimmers say splashing a sea lion may not be the best idea. You're supposed to swim away gently. Actually blowing bubbles is a sign of aggression between male sea lions. And police say it's best to swim in pairs. In this case, the swimmer has luck and an unlikely hero to thank. I mean, the boat saved his life. If the boat hadn't been there, who knows what would have happened. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News.